What's up you guys, Uberina here. So the first thing you guys are probably gonna notice is why is my voice so raspy? And let me tell you, Florida weather has been crazy for the last week. We've been getting cold fronts and then it gets hot and then it gets cold. So as a result of that, my voice has been going in and out because of the dry air. So I've been sick for the last couple days but I'm back so today I will be doing a shrimp boil I have jumbo shrimp corn sausage potatoes eggs and I'm going to be devouring it with some alfredo sauce and my beloved inspired sauce which I'm gonna tell you guys about so let's get started here I don't know what to start on first but I'm gonna go ahead and eat a shrimp <laughs> my voice sounds so ridiculous with it being raspy and this is so hot oh it's good but yeah um florida weather has kicked my butt in the last couple days obviously as a result <clears throat> my voice has been like this for two days now three days maybe that with some lemon mm. so I have some um, if you're wondering what that is that's falling off <laughs> but that's um, green and yellow peppers that I added in here Not a big bite, it's hot. <laughs> mm. I got these um Cajun style sausages, I guess. There's a piece of corn on it. Yum. Mm. Oh, that's good. Man, get on there. Mm. So these are um, large red Argentine Argentinian shrimp, I guess. And let me tell you, they are juicy. <clears throat> Again, sorry about my voice, guys. I probably sound like I smoked 20 packs of cigarettes, but I promise you I didn't. Mmm. <laughs> They're so tender. <clears throat> Spicy. So I cooked the shrimp in um, just butter. Just because I knew I was going to eat it with this sauce. Which has all the seasoning already. So I didn't feel the need to really season it <clears throat> while it was cooking. Mm. Got some potato. I didn't season the um, I didn't really season the water that I boiled the potato and corn in either. Mm. <coughs> Need to hydrate when you're eating 
Salty foods, guys. So while I've been sick, I haven't really had an appetite. <clears throat> I've just been eating, you know, little stuff here and there. Mm. That's good. These sausages are um, uh, Cajun style sausages. <clears throat> This shrimp is so good. <clears throat> so about this sauce. So I'm going to tell you guys about the sauce in a minute <laughs> after I get this bite in. Mm. So I made this sauce, <clears throat> it's a Be Love inspired sauce, but um, I made it my own. You know, if you've seen her recipe on YouTube, um, she, she just, you know, she gives you the basis of what she puts in hers and she tells you to make it your own, which I have now. Mm. It was all because I didn't have um, I didn't have a lot of the ingredients that she put in hers. So <clears throat> on my other video, I made one similar to it, but not exactly it. And this one I made completely different from it. So, the base of this sauce is butter. Now I'm going to tell you what's in it. <clears throat> it has mangoes. I know you're probably like mangoes. Yes, mangoes. there it's a chunk of mango right there so I made it with butter mango adobo <laughs> and I use the adobo seasoning and I also put um, <clears throat> soy sauce and vinegar in here So it's a mango, butter, adobo, 
sauce. <laughs> I know y'all are probably like, what? <laughs> so what I did was, um, if you're wondering how I got the mango in there, I pureed it. I put it in a, um, actually I put it in a food processor <clears throat> and pureed it and then put it in with the butter while it was still cooking. And I put other seasonings in there, but the main ingredients are <clears throat> butter, mango, and adobo. Adobo seasoning. And soy sauce and vinegar, which in the Philippines, if you're cooking adobo, it's soy sauce and vinegar. It's good. It's different, and it's good. I was surprised because I was really like, I was really eating a mango and I was cooking the, the sauce and I was like, what would happen if I put mango in the sauce? Here it is. Yeah, like I said, I'm surprised. It's good. It came out really good. And I did also add some spice in there. I added um, chili powder and cayenne pepper in here. Good. <coughs> Probably gonna eat a few more things and then I'll be done guys because I haven't had an appetite and I'm going in this full force right now. <clears throat> so I know I'm probably shocking my stomach like, excuse me, slow down. Yeah, that's good. Oh, excuse me. That is a good shrimp. That's good in there too. What is that? That red shrimp is so tender. That's good. Let me holla out one more egg though. Mm. 
Messy. Alfredo sauce. Oh, yeah. Mm. All right, guys, I am full, so I am done with this shrimp boil for now. I'm probably going to eat it later. Who knows? But thank you guys for joining me today, even though my voice was raspy. I promise you on my next video, it will not be raspy. And hopefully by then I'll have my voice back. But while I was out um, for a couple days, I did notice that I hit 100 subscribers. So thank you guys for tuning into my channel and watching my videos and subscribing. You guys are awesome. I promise I'll be coming out with more videos so you guys can watch me eat some more, stuff my face, and talk about random stuff. But like I said, I do appreciate every 100 of you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. And for anybody else watching, please make sure you like my video, you thumbs up on my other videos, subscribe to my channel, Uberina. And stay tuned until next time. Who knows what I'll be eating, but I'll make sure to record it so you guys can watch me eat whatever it is. And until next time, guys, peace, love, take care of yourselves, and I will see you soon.